I, I, I think the world would be a better place if there were two Reggie Watts yeah. at the same time. <laughs> I do. Thank you. I do. You know, you could have one just chilling, lifting us all up in the way he does, and the other one just figuring stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get up to? What would you do? Sheesh. Um, you know, I, you know, it would be cool. I, I could have... I could have one of me yeah. doing this show, yeah. right? You know, some week, not every week, but like, you know, some weeks. And then I just like hanging out with my mom in Montana while exactly. I was doing that. Yeah. We'd switch. Yeah. That's the dream. Yeah. That's actually what it's all about. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, what would it, what would you, if there was a different Carmel, what sort of hijinks would you get up to? Shoplifting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, yeah. Probably like a lot of shoplifting. Like one of me would dress up like a cop and the other one would run into a convenience store, grab a bunch of candy bars and then run out. And the guy would chase after him and then I'd be standing there as a cop and I'd be like, I didn't see anything. <laughs> or you do like, sir, wait here. I got him. I'll get him. Yeah. I got him. I'll be right back. You run around the corner, both get in the car, gone. <laughs> Just sitting there giggling, eating Butterfingers. That's not a bad life. I will say, I do think it's, it's not a great use of a clone. <laughs> <laughs> because, in truth, actually, all you need is a friend to dress as a cop. In that scenario, the, the cop doesn't need to look anything like you. <laughs> you, know what we need to, you know what we need two of? Two Steve Scalfaddies. Yeah. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. That's Thank what you. we need. Because one of them would, would at least be able to get the news jingle right. I wonder if he's got it right tonight. I don't know. Let's ask Steve. <laughs> Go on, you ask him. Hey, man, what you got planned for tonight's news jingle? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? You haven't thought about it until this minute right now. I mean, at this point, they're all kind of the same. Yeah, but sometimes. Vibes. Yeah, but sometimes you take us on a journey, Stevie. <laughs> oh, yeah, you looking for a journey? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Steve, I am. I'm, do you know what I want? I want this news jingle to have a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? I want it to be like um, tubular bells. <laughs> Was that, do you remember that? Is that Mike Oldfield? You're Mike Oldfield, yeah. Yeah. You Good don't job. know that. Don't know that at all. Tubular no, bells. It's like a theme to some horror thing. I you believe. know tubular bells. You definitely know it. Tubular. You probably called it something different in America. Tubular. Like <laughs> bells o'clock or something, or like. <laughs> it's just bells with a Z. Taco yeah, bells. Yeah. It's this. Is that the top of your top of your playlist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber, tubular bells. Yeah. Yeah. This is just in my most played. <laughs> you know this. It's a horror movie. Yeah, thing. the Omen, right? Guillermo knew. Guillermo was right. Wait, because it gets it gets real good. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a stab. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> This is ridiculous. There's a stab. Flick I the needle. I will not stop until it's done it. <laughs> so it's that vibe I'm after, Steve, all right? You really want to do that vibe? I want it to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. OK. But not too long. Let's, let's... OK. OK. Pray silence. All right. Is that still playing? <laughs> Still playing. <laughs> Still going. There's a stab, wait. <laughs> well, I mean, in my defense, I didn't realize that the song is 26 minutes long. <laughs> Come on, this is serious, guys. This is, this is like news, OK? So, it's time for the news.
the news with James Corden. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Sensational. Everything I needed. I actually got emotional. <laughs> it's, it is the news, and here's the news today. President Biden is still trying to get congressional Democrats on the same page so that they can approve his agenda. Earlier today, the president held separate meetings with progressives, and then later in the day, he met with moderates. It did get awkward, though, when the first meeting ran long and the two groups ran into each other in the hallway and it all got a little bit West Side Story. <laughs> Biden's message was the same for both groups, but with the progressives, he was just able to throw in a lot more dudes. <laughs> In other news, the FDA is expected to approve people getting a different brand of COVID-19 vaccine for their booster shot, a so-called mix-and-match method, which means you won't have to get the same type that you got before. You can just mix and match. It's basically like the vaccine equivalent of when you go to a soda machine and you can get, like, a <laughs> cherry vanilla diet Mountain Dew. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Suicide. It will, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Dr Pepper, Sunkissed, Cherry Coke... Don't judge me, my dad. <laughs> if you think that's the worst thing you've dr I've drunk... <laughs> it will spice up the vaccine conversations a little bit, though, won't it? Do you know what I mean? What, what shot did you get? I got Fiderna. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like mixing alcoholic beverages. You can do it, but should you? You know? <laughs> Just remember the rule of thumb. Moderna before Pfizer, always wiser. Pfizer before Moderna, some concerner. <laughs> And we wanted to share this unusual and oddly specific finding. According to the UK's Office for National Statistics, last year there was not a single baby in the entire United Kingdom named Nigel. <laughs> yeah. Thank not one God. Nigel. I can't believe the UK's run out of Nigels. <laughs> Babies run out of... This is like the United States running out of kids named Tanner. <laughs> Does, it does make sense, though, because you never, you never really meet a baby called Nigel. I feel like babies aren't born Nigels. They just appear <laughs> at age 52. <laughs> wearing a cardigan, smoking a pipe, telling you to get down. <laughs> get down! <laughs> your, father, your dad's called Nigel, isn't he, Louis? Would this be upsetting news to him, do you think? Uh, no, not particularly. No? <laughs> no, I don't think he's that enamoured with his name. He's Nigel Norman, and right. his father's called Trevor. It's a <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Nigel Norman. Nigel Norman, Norman uh, de Glanville. Hello. <laughs> Way Weymouth. In case you didn't know that Louis was really posh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's no, not. You are. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. Saudi Arabia has plans to launch a brand new tourist attraction, the world's first extreme amusement park on an offshore oil rig. It looks like this. The oil rig will have three hotels, 11 restaurants, as well as roller coaster rides and activities like bungee jumping and skydiving. I like that the mock up has got a cruise ship pulling up to it, like grandma and granddad just can't wait to scale the oil rig and do some bungee jumping. <laughs> Imagine, like, kids, we're going to a theme park. <gasps> Disneyland, even better, it's an abandoned oil rig in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> it's an amusement park on an offshore oil rig. I'm still not sure about some of the rides. They've got this one, Finding and Cleaning Nemo. <laughs> There's this new ride, Frack to the Future. <laughs> and, of course, this one, Mr Toad's Wild Carbon Emissions. <laughs> And that's the news. We'll be right back. Like you just said, we'll be right back. Keep your pants on. It's going to get crazy.